Here's a little taste of what each destination in Florida has to offer. Uh, let's touch on the market for Canada. So we gathered that 2011 was a good year for, uh, for Florida from Canada. Can you give us the latest numbers? Okay, um, I'm proud to say that 2011 was a bad year for Florida. We welcomed 3.3 million Canadians to Florida. Now let's break that down more significantly. About 1.9 actually flew and about 1.4 drove. So this really represents an astounding number of Canadians that have chosen Florida to be for their vacation and for visitation. And that actually makes Canada the state's number one international market, correct? Yeah. Lindsay, you're absolutely correct, and for everyone in the room, uh, Canada is Florida's number one international market, uh, and the aggregate numbers are slightly below the entire European market. It's astounding. So, you, of course, you would think that, that our currency parity has a lot to do with the surge in visitations? Uh, I think the parity or our dollar, the strength of our dollar is a key factor. However, I wouldn't overlook the other points of Florida, which is its diverse product, and also Canadians get value for their dollar whenever they're traveling to, uh, to Florida. And one great thing, sunshine, continuous sunshine. And what are some of the highlights for our media audience this year? Okay, well, uh, that's, that's a trick question. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn this over to the colleagues, or my partner colleagues, they're going to be presenting later on as we proceed with the Florida Good Morning Show, Rise and Sunshine, and they're going to talk about what's new for 2012 and other highlights of their destination. Thank you very much, Marie. Okay. Thank you.